Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the app Sock Puppets. By using this app, you are improving your students' speaking skills and also enabling them to practice oral English through short dialogues. Using this app in your classroom is so much fun and it's very easy to use. The first thing you need to do is to download the app Sock Puppets, which is available on iOS Apple devices. Once you download the app and you open it, the first thing you need to do is click on New. Then you need to select the different characters you would use in your short dialogue. You could select one two, three or four characters, but not more than four. Once you've selected the characters you would like to use for your uh, oral recording, that you would see that you would have the eye symbols that appear uh, on the characters that you have selected. So for example, here you could see that I have chosen these two characters. So. Uh, you would see that the eye symbols appear on those two characters I have chosen. Then you click on next and you need to select backgrounds for the characters uh, you would be recording a dialogue for. So for example, I chose this uh, background. And again, you could see the eye symbol that appears on the background I have chosen. So now I have decided what characters I'm using for my uh, recording. And I have also decided what background I would be using. So all I need to do now is to start recording. As you could see in the picture here, you have an arrow, a red arrow, right, right above one of the characters. This means that the audio recording would start first with this character. Now the moment I click on the red button above, which means that I could start recording, then this is the character that would start to speak. Once I click on the recording button above, which is the red circle, I can record whatever I want and then I could play whatever I have recorded and see if I would like to save it. Now if I like the recording I have made, then all I need to do is to uh, click on the save button and save what I have recorded. Now to save what I have done, I click on this button. Then all I need to do is click on share and I select what option I would like to save my final uh, video. So I normally save it to my uh, own gallery so I click on save video. And of course you have other options of how you would like to save your final video so you get to choose whatever works for you. So now let's consider an example and look at one example that was done by one of my students. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and that you would enjoy using sock puppets in your own classroom and thank you for watching!